Hello and welcome to part 3 of our discussion series on soft sediment deformation. This episode will focus on seismites. Seismites refer to sedimentary formation impacted by seismic disturbance. In other words, they are sedimentary uh, rocks or structures that have been you know, impacted or disturbed by shaking during um, seismic activities or you can call them earthquakes. Um, seismites are commonly used really to tell or give some insight into the seismic history of an area. And examples include sand volcanoes, uh, sand blows, and plastic dikes. Now let's take a quick look at uh, sand, uh, sand volcano, uh, which is an example of a seismite. So I'm going to show you a quick uh, video I got from YouTube. Um, really very, very interesting one. I'm just going to play it. So this is a... Um, Wait, so this is the... Uh, it's the main game at two sides. So it's south of the ocean. It may shift. Wow. Making a movie? So yeah, it says this is a this is a um, a YouTube uh, video. It says Fushime Geothermal Field from South Kyushu in Japan. Uh, the comment here from the YouTube uh, page says, "When overheated water from the geothermal reservoir arises, it transforms into vapor. The the vapor reaches the sand beach of Yamakawa Yamakawa Cove through some cracks and can produce sand volcano." when it enters in contact with a superficial saturated sand. And that's uh, Benjamin ben, uh, Bernard's comment of August 14, 2013. I'm just going to continue the video and uh, uh, hopefully the observation you're making is uh, same as what um, I, I made. So pretty much, I see a very huge, um, you know, this is this is um, a huge. I call it a huge hole because it's not a small opening. But what I see is sand. Hey, so the, uh, uh, the the like it's boiling. Like it's boiling water, but that's not just boiling. Water. Sand being thrown out by the hot Making movie. Or the hot, uh, That's able to carry the sand particles on the with the little pair of the asking to bring it out. That tells me that the energy down there is quite high. And it's it is pulling out the sand through that point. And what the comment here says, it says these are superheated um, water, overheated water from geothermal reservoirs. That's from you know all the way from the subsurface, it rises up and transforms into vapor so the vapor is so energetic that it's able to you know get it find its way through and you know um you know start disturbing those those uh, beach sands that were originally uh, undisturbed of course and uh, it's so energetic that it's able to throw out these beach sands in that in that manner in a way that we're seeing that it creates what looks like a crater with some hot stuff coming from under So that's that's really a very cool example. So this is another one. Well, this is not a live one. This is not a video, just a, a picture. So what we see here is, um, well, a dormant, uh, or I would say it's healed already, sand volcano. And this is uh, taken from uh, Kilke in Ireland. So, yes, okay, that's a closer view of it. We can actually see from the you know central part of this, this is actually the sand volcano outlined in red. Um, that looks like this is this is what looks like the eye of the volcano, uh, like this, and maybe somewhere here. So those are pretty <laughs> very interesting sights to behold. Now this is a closer view at the eye of the sand volcano.
and that's yet another uh, one, same same uh, location. All right. So thank you very much for listening. For listening, I I do hope um, it was worth your while. Thanks.